The Lucky Mute River cuts a beeline through eastern flanks of the Oregon Coast Range before it falls in an ear-shattering moment at Falls City, Oregon. Three miles away, another sort of fall happens when mountain bikers catch big air. They are free riding across a little piece of heaven called Black Rock Mountain. 500 acres of state forest land with challenges built by volunteers. The folks who build the runs also get to name them, like Sunday Stroll, Granny's Kitchen, Bonsai Downhill. You're gonna have a stressful day or a stressful week and come out here, ride my bike, and I go home, it's all gone. Polk County offers more stress-free zones along the Lucky Mute River. Pull into Oregon's very first state park called Sarah Helmick, just off State Highway 99. It's one of those hidden gems, you know, it's off the beaten path. A gem that dates to 1922 when the Helmick family donated the land for future generations. Back in the 50s, camping really took off. Motorhomes were invented, trailers, stuff like that. The economy was changing, technology was changing, and people had more free time. Parks like this sprung up, and I think these were pretty valued. The park sprawls across 40 acres with plentiful picnic sites and play spaces under shady limbs of giant oak and maple. Less than 20 minutes east, the Lucky Mute River slows at a state park where they're trying something new. The visitors, what are they telling you? Keep up the good work. The Lucky Mute Landing State Natural Area is a park without rental cabins, trailer hookups, or play areas for the kids. It's a new park where they're turning the clock back and restoring wildlife habitat. We have planted about 440,000 shrubs and trees since 2011. Bring your binoculars because we have a big variety of birds. We have a lot of wildflowers that will bloom. The goal is to enhance nearly a thousand acres for wildlife, including endangered western pond turtles that are easy to spot. It's a day-use parkland that invites hikers or river paddlers. Pristine place to get away from, and it's not that far away from Salem or Albany. And it's waiting for you anytime. In Polk County, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.